Hey y'all, Monko here with some casual redstone game breaking machines. So back in 2014, 1.8.4, uh, Pi made this rotor machine that you could store entities like this. And so ender pearls, snowballs, potions, and I found out that, you know, you could exploit this glitch, this machine, with these ender pearls, and you can go really far away and have a piston push out, and the ender pearl would hit the piston, and you'd be teleported back to the machine. The way this machine worked is there'd be you'd have three different uh, slime blocks being rotated around really fast. So the entities would always be hitting a slime block going up, so they'd never hit the ground. They just keep on bouncing like this. But sadly, in 1.13, uh, this no longer works, and I had to come up with a new way to store ender pearls. So basically, the reason why this is a very game-breaking machine is let's say you were on a factions world and you wanted to be teleported back instantly instead of like doing a slash home and waiting 10 seconds or something or maybe the server doesn't even have a teleport command you could have your friend sitting there with a lever that would open and close a hatch that would just stop your ender pearl and then you'd be teleported back instantly but the problem with this thing is let's say you actually got this thing to be spinning right like that and then you logged off doesn't work anymore. It broke. So that's one of the big problems with it. The other problem is you couldn't leave the chunk, so if you come, you leave the chunk and you come back or you log off, it's broken. And I won't explain exactly how this works. I'll put the video in the description for Pi's video on this rotor. There's also a simpler version of this rotor, but neither of them work in 1.13 after they changed slimes. It turns out, ever since they added in comparators to the game, you could make a much simpler version of this machine. Originally I put two clocks to two pistons, like this this simple clock right here. But it turns out both both pistons are connected to the one clock, but they still oscillate. Like this. So at first I was like, okay, I'll make a timer, like a tripwire or something, or just time it right right when you throw the ender pearl that it hits this going up and down. And then I was like, well, maybe I can get it by just slowing it down with some water. And it turns out that you could make this, this entire machine can be fit into this area. This is, this is that entire machine right here, working 100%. Um, and so the water slows it down, and so it almost always, depending on how high this water is, if it's, all, it's really high up, you're always going to get it. But depending on how high this water is, you'll store the enderpearl. Just like that. You can store any throwable items like potions and snowballs and fireballs, but this one, disconnect, rejoin, or you leave the chunk. Uh oh. Oh, huh. Maybe not all the time. But, <laughs> that was funny. I have a bunch of ender pearls stored over there. But um, if you leave the chunk or log off, I guess if it's hitting the block where right as you log off, you'll teleport to it. But that's that's rare. So if you always have someone waiting here, or you have some reason to keep this this chunk updated, your ender pearl will never break. And you have someone push some pistons into this water, or you just have a thing close it, and next time you teleported there. So you could be anywhere on the map, and just be instantly teleported back. You could hook up some pistons here, so no matter what, you'd just be teleported back instantly. Or you could just turn off the clock. And there you go. So this is a simple version of the rotor machine, and a game, kind of a game-breaking... It's not really a bug or glitch, but... So this could probably be explo exploited on, like, Faction World or something if they don't want you to teleport, and you can just teleport whenever you want without any commands. Um, some other things I did with this, I made it... You could make this 12, 12 uh, slime blocks long, or you can see you can see 11 of the slime blocks from up here, and you can throw snowballs just just for testing it out. Snowballs doesn't always work, but the more water is, then you'll more you're just more likely to keep the object if you have more water. Oh look, I only got one. See. Huh. 
Okay. I guess potions fall differently. But uh, I got potions to stay at one point. I'm sure I can get it in here. Hmm, maybe not. I guess potions don't work anymore. But, nice thing with this, you can have... Boop, boop, boop. Maybe teleported to each one of these. Oh, there was teleported that one. You can have multiple people in different slots to be teleported to. Or you can have just hundreds of ender pearls in one thing. You could have like 20 people be teleported to one spot at one time if they all have the ender pearl stored there. So yeah, just a few things you can mess around with. I'll show you how to build this real quick. So here's all the materials you'll need. Just some redstone, some blocks. Uh, you only need one comparator, one block of redstone, trapdoor lever, some water, three blocks of obsidian, piston, slime blocks. So you want to be you want to have this being pushed up and down and I will have it be activated by one clock. I want this block to be up here because I don't want the piston to if if it was down here the slime block would take this block, so you don't want you don't want that there. And just find some way to connect to these two however you want. So these two are both, these pistons are both activated by the same pulse. And then just to build a simple clock like so, get my comparator. This has to be three blocks away. If this is any closer, if it's two blocks away, this, this clock won't work. This has to be th at least three redstone away. Maybe four. Okay. Yeah, okay, four away, I guess. So that works. I want it to be up. And three blocks like this, just so it doesn't take these blocks away and water won't get everywhere. Um, right now, if you turn it off and the pistons are down, the water is going to break your circuit here. So I'm just going to put this up like that. So if the water comes down, it will break my circuit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, however, just uh, probably six blocks up. The higher you go, the more likely it is to not break your ender pearl. And then water bucket, trap door, lever to open and close it. And get your ender pearl out. Or any block you want to throw. Or anything, any, not block you want to throw. Any entity you want to throw. Have this pulsing, oscillating. And. Oh, just throw it until you get it. Eventually, you get it timed perfectly. There you go doesn't take much to figure out which when to throw it and it's kind of just random you just have to hit it when it's going up so depending on how high you, you do it it's more likely to stay if you go you can probably go like even just three blocks up and it might stay so there you go there's a little game breaking redstone machine here you can just teleport to whenever you want you can make a long redstone path but it won't if you're out of the chunk it won't work if you like just have one really long redstone path to teleport it to but if you have a uh, I can link some videos in the description to uh, ways to keep the the chunk open like with redstone so you can have like there's ways to make wireless redstone too so if you're playing on a single player world you can have some wireless redstone and keep this chunk open and just click some buttons you know move some things around and boom you'll be teleported back if you're if you're lazy and you really don't want to make a railroad or something, just boom, easy solution right there. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So I hope you like the new simpler version of the entity storing thing, whatever you call this thing. I'll just call it the teleporting machine, sure. Have fun uh, breaking some servers.